The shooting at the Daytona Beach Hospital is sparking conversations tonight about end of life issues. West Shoes Amanda Duke spoke tonight with a man who hopes to convince Florida lawmakers to create a new law. According to police, 76 year old Ellen Gilland and her husband Jerry made a pact that if his terminal illness worsened, she would end his suffering by killing him and then killing herself. Tony Ray, who is the founder of Florida Death with Dignity, says while he doesn't know the details of the Gillens situation, he does believe Florida needs what's called a medical aid in dying law. I don't know their situation, but uh, it would allow someone who is terminally ill to make the decision for themselves if they're competent to uh, choose medication to end their life in a peaceful manner in a accordance with their own beliefs and values. And that, that's really what these things, these laws are about. Personal choice, personal decision. Ray says his nonprofit hopes to introduce a bill this coming legislative session called the Florida End of Life Options Act. He claims it provides a way for a terminally ill adult to avoid unnecessary suffering in the final stage of life. The patient has to be a terminally ill adult diagnosed with six months or less to live. They have to be of sound mind in order to make their own health care decisions. This is confirmed, the diagnosis and the mental competency is confirmed by two separate physicians. And they have to be, this is the important part, they have to be able to self-administer the medication themselves. Currently, 10 states plus the District of Columbia have medical aid in dying laws, but not Florida. And so far, the proposed bill has a sponsor in the Florida Senate, but not the House. Meantime, Ray says for families struggling with a suffering loved one, the best course of action is to reach out for help. A hospice has counselors. Palliative care uh, physicians have counselors that can assist them in talking through these things. Amanda Dukes reporting West 2 News. Stay with West 2 for our continuing coverage of this tragic story. You can find all the latest developments on air on West.com and on our free West 2 News mobile app.